awkward dancing, lame reaction videos, and weird trends. Since blowing up worldwide in 2018, TikTok has been the social media app due to its addicting nature of only using short videos. Love it or hate it, it's hard to escape it even when you don't use it. But it's not all fun and games with the app, as it's got some seriously negative side effects. And since we're a movie channel, we'll be looking at its effects on film. Now this video isn't about how TikTok is directly ruining movies, although TikTokers trying to act in them doesn't help. This is about how using TikTok or any short form video app affects your enjoyment of them. And it all boils down to one thing, dopamine. In 2020, Forbes called TikTok digital crack cocaine for your brain. It's the form of media that gives you the quickest dopamine hit with little effort from the user due to how curated the content shown to you is. Using TikTok often gets your brain used to these levels of dopamine to the point where you get dependent on it. But what is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter and hormone that is sent through our brains. It has many important functions such as affecting memory, movement, and mood. It also affects our motivation and attention. Two parts of our behavior our enjoyment of film is dependent on. Homeostasis is the self-regulating process by which biological systems maintain stability while adjusting to changing external conditions and stabilizing dopamine levels is no exception. When using something like TikTok, homeostasis means your dopamine lowers each time you raise it, adjusting for the changing external conditions. For every high, there is a low. And as you watch more of it, it becomes less enjoyable due to this stabilization. But we still seek any dopamine we can get. And this is where people can spiral into an addiction. So although our dopamine stabilizes after we're done using TikTok, the addiction to the hits remain and our dopamine scale is thrown off. This means the amount of dopamine you get from everything is reduced and the activities below TikTok's level of stimuli suffer the most, such as watching movies. Your attention span worsens as you crave the dopamine reducing your patience and giving you a hard time to sit through the longer run times of films. With your phone nearby, it becomes very easy to pull it out and browse while watching to get as much dopamine as you can get. We claim that each younger generation becomes better multitaskers, but often their attention spans are dependent on this multitasking. It even becomes harder to actually decide on watching a movie as you prefer to go for quicker bursts of entertainment instead. We often see this when people have an easier time binging through five hours of a show rather than sitting through a two hour movie. They decide to watch an episode of a show, but when it ends, homeostasis drops their dopamine levels and they seek more of it by turning on another episode. But their enjoyment of each later episode on average depreciates. This is the same idea behind how people can browse through TikTok for hours. This is all something I've experienced myself. When I got hooked on YouTube Shorts, my enjoyment of film severely dropped. Older movies that used to have my eyes glued to the screen became a slog to get through. Oftentimes, I'd turn a movie off 10 minutes in to go do something more stimulating like play a game or watch a show. And if a phone was nearby, I'd often find myself scrolling through Reddit at times when the movie was slow. It was hard being passionate about movies until Top Gun Maverick came out. But this movie was kind of an exception as it was such a high octane film that it satisfied all my dopamine cravings. This was a wake up call, but luckily there is a way to fix it. More on this later though. This concept is nothing new. Throughout the history of film, our attention spans have worsened as the industry finds ways to provide entertainment quicker to keep up with other forms of entertainment. But all of this accelerated recently due to the rise of endless scrolling and short form video media. Since the dawn of man, we've been constantly evolving especially our brains. It's hard to pinpoint where our attention spans began to get worse, but one could argue this deterioration accelerated with the introduction of home television sets that gained popularity by the 1940s. Over the years, our eyes would be glued to the screens, watching the latest news, movies, and TV shows. All of a sudden, reading books became much less appealing as it wouldn't provide the same levels of dopamine we're constantly getting from TV. This is similar to how watching movies is becoming less appealing when compared to newer forms of media. TV entertainment will continue to evolve over time. With the invention of the TV remote in the 50s to allow quicker channel switching from a distance, the transition to shorter TV ads in the 70s, and the release of DVR in 1999, which allows users to skip ads entirely for the recorded shows. Physical and digital owned media didn't even include ads unless they were for another film. This eventually got us to the most convenient way to watch movies and shows with streaming services. Here we'd have thousands of titles available at a press of a button. 
without any commercials. And even streaming services have been evolving to provide entertainment quicker. Some examples are the skip intro and next episode buttons and the curated recommendations after finishing a movie. And this is just one industry that has altered and adapted to our attention spans. An industry that should make watching movies easier, right? How about gaming? Ever since gaming became mainstream, it has been constantly blamed for giving children ADHD, a similar blame to what we're starting to see TikTok getting. Although a still fairly new form of media, it has adapted over the years for the same reasons. Aside from the fast paced multiplayer games being most popular now, we've seen a big trend in single player games having much more checkpoints or a save at any time feature to compensate for the decreasing level of patience of the average gamer. And then there's social media and its inclusion of the infinite scroll. The infinite scroll is the most convenient way way of laying out content that every social media app has begun using. It allows the user to continuously scroll through content rather than having to switch pages or click somewhere else. Reddit, Twitter, TikTok, and even news sites. Endless scrolling media is everywhere. Being able to scroll through content so quickly gives your brain the quickest hits of dopamine without a break. With no end in sight, an app can suck you in for hours and have you keep coming back for the easiest and most convenient entertainment. Even the creator of the infinite scroll feels guilty due to how addicting it is, estimating that over 200,000 lifetimes are wasted daily from it. The Oppenheimer of software design patterns. Each form of media mentioned is more dopamine intensive than the prior, but they've all worked together and adapted to get to where we are today with the average attention span. So what happened to movies themselves? Well, they've also adapted over time, and this is where someone who doesn't even use TikTok has been affected. Movies have adapted to these trends to become faster paced. We're seeing shorter shots, faster editing, faster talking, more color, more overall action, more violence to keep the user focused enough to stay entertained. Superhero movies and other action films fill up the main theater auditoriums as they're the easiest to consume. There are many people who don't watch older movies due to thinking they're too slow, supporting the idea that the average film's pace has increased. And how much quicker can films really get to keep up with the short form media? Top Gun Maverick was very fast paced and exhilarating. A film that even grabbed my attention while I was hooked on YouTube Shorts and Reddit. But how much more dopamine can a film provide? TikTok will also continue to improve, but I'm sure there will be newer forms of media in the future with even quicker and stronger dopamine hits, unless we end up self-imploding from all of this. Though it may be hard to alter the direction where the entertainment industry is heading, there is a way to improve your own enjoyment of film. Often people roll their eyes when they hear the words detox as there's often a trendy diet not proven to actually work with detox slapped at the end of its name. Well, the dopamine detox is not much different than that. The name itself doesn't make sense as you can't abstain or rid yourself of dopamine as it's a hormone that is produced naturally by your brain. Instead, it's based on fixing the dopamine scale we mentioned earlier that was thrown off by homeostasis. Some people take it to the extreme by not listening to music, not eating flavorful food, or even not socializing, which just doesn't work a lot long term. All you really need to do is just make some minor changes to your technology driven lifestyle. Take a break from screens, meditate, read a book, take a walk outside. These are all great ways to do this. You'll find that doing these things will make the higher dopamine activities even more exciting as long as you do them in moderation. This is why it's super satisfying watching a movie or playing a game after a hard day at work. Before we end, I do want to say that there is a lot of good that comes from the ever evolving entertainment industry. This video may have seemed very negative, but TikTok along with other high dopamine activities are still important to have in your life, but at smaller doses than the average person is used to. It's when these activities start ruining your enjoyment of other activities, such as watching movies where it becomes a problem. And not to mention its impact on your motivation, mood, sleep, attention, and the possibility of getting addicted. Well, that's everything. Thanks for watching. This was a topic I've been meaning to do for a while as it's something I've experienced and I'm seeing almost everyone go through without even realizing it. We have a lot more videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. <laughs>